Hey guys, my name's Allie from Geek Alchemy, and today I'm doing a bit of an experiment. Trying out a vegan palm paraffin and soy free wax melt. I have no idea how this is going to work out because, literally, as far as I can tell on the internet, no one's done this before. So I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I'm going to attempt to make wax bark today. I'm going to use Persian Rose Environmental Glitter, as you can see from Nurture Soap. I'm going to, as soon as I find the thermometer, give it another test to see how cool it's gotten, and I'll be right back. We're at about 100 degrees. I've already mixed in my fragrance from Bitter Creek. It was the Cinnamon Red Hots, which is only good for wax, but when I got it, I originally was planning on using it for soap, and I guess I just didn't read it as good as I thought I had, so we're using it today. Here goes nothing. Just a little bit. Maybe, maybe a bit more, because that doesn't seem to have done much. All right, now I'm gonna stir this, and I'll be right back. All right, well that took a lot less time than I thought it would. If I had a metal pan, this would cool off faster. Oh well. We'll see what it turns out like. this cool down and I'll be back as soon as it is okay guys I'm back and it is much more the consistency of scoopable wax than a wax tart or wax melt now I'm honestly not surprised at how this turned out. I was going off somebody's suggestion on a candle group that usually works with actual wax and here I'm essentially working with oils. So it again, it's not all that surprising. I'm going to see if this will work as a squeezable wax. Again, another experiment. It smells amazing. It smells like those little cinnamon red hot candies. chance that this is just going to be for me and my family.
my product testers will likely be looking at testing for me in May. I plan on popping out another video before that happens. So you guys need to stay tuned and check that out. show you that it failed me in a couple ways. <laughs> I thought this might be a scoop wax and it is definitely not. It's or a squeeze wax. It is a scoopable wax. So being in here is problematic. But as you can see, I already have some wax here in the reservoir and Wow, I will say that this really permeates the house and I have a just over, I have over 2,000 square feet in this house and it gets nearly every single room with just this little bit of wax. It is strong. So I'm on to something. I really like this. Maybe it's just the fragrance oil itself. I don't know. Maybe it's the whole thing. I still have experiments to do, but I am encouraged by how well this is working. So, like I said, I'm encouraged. There still needs there still needs to be some uh, work done on this. But I I'm looking forward to trying again. This is, like I said, not meant to be in a squeeze bottle. So <laughs> I might have to pre-melt this in the future in order to have it come out of the bottle easier. But like I said, scent-wise, not in the least disappointing. This is 100% strong, vibrant fragrance. So I look forward to my future experiments. I will keep you updated on my wax journey. See you later. Bye.